Suva and Fiji. Uh, we just got off the ship and it's very welcome, it's very nice. Um, this is Pula Moana town area. Um, we've got some ladies giving massages right beside the ship, which is lovely. You can get information about tours, there's local drivers here that can take care around the island, lots of things. Um, and apparently some more Wi-Fi and we're going to go and check out the town in Suva. Hi, so really near the ship, you just cross the street and you can find the local market. This is where you get local fish, fruit, vegetables. Take a look. So the local cash, we've got some red perch, we've got shellfish, we've got local peppers, <laughs> there's fruits, ginger, cassava roots, cucumbers. Everyone will get their food um, cooking at home here. Uh, everything's locally grown home produce and everyone's very friendly and as you walk around you'll hear everyone say bula bula to you which is like a hello and welcome to greet them together. Um, so there's pretty much everything here, all the foods, uh, fruits, veggies, meats, fish and it's, it's nice to come and see some local flavour. Okay, so the market has an inside section as well. If you come inside, um, there's lots of clothes, there's people tailoring dresses and there's more food, there's baskets being weaved here and so it's kind of more the craft section of it and there's lots of cute little kids running around as well Okay, so when you're around the corner to the right we've got SFC cold drinks and smoothie shop It's a nice place to stop for a nice cold smoothie Thank you! Bula bula! And then we've got some nice fresh mango smoothie with Matt Are we going to taste it? Taste it Matt? Is it good? Yep. Nice. Now if you want to stop and check out a movie, um, you can see the Village 6 Cinemas just further down the street to the right of the ship. And then straight across the street we've got Harbour Centre and there's a lot of uh, stores in there for souvenirs. You can buy bullet dresses, there's coffee shops uh, and some different food places. Okay, so if you want to buy some local clothes, um, you can check out Fashions of the Pacific and this is just a lot down to the right from the ship around the corner and this is where you can get some bullet shirts, bullet dresses this is where I bought a bullet dress last time and they have really nice things let's have a peek We've got Suva City Carnegie Library. I don't know if you've got Andrew Carnegie from Dunfermline in Scotland, where I'm from, and this is one of the 2,811 libraries that have been uh, throughout the world. So um, the streets aren't pretty far, so this is really nice. Local library. So keep going to the right. This is about another 10 minute walk after you leave the edge of town and all the shops. Um, this is where I came last time. This is Albert Park, right across the street. This is where a lot of sporting events happen. Um, and also to the left of that we've got the Fiji Museum which is open every day till 5 um, so you can learn a lot about the area and check out what the locals are doing uh, to hang out. I'm going to stop for a while. This is the Grand Pacific Hotel. It's a very nice colonial, a big white building. Uh, it's really nice inside. There's a pool through the back. They've got nice local food for lunch and they have Wi-Fi as well. So we're going to go and make our stop in the Grand Pacific Hotel. They have a Commission for Human Rights meeting this afternoon and they have traditional high teas. So we're out at the pool bar and it's happy hour, 4.30 to 6.30. Uh, you can get cocktails uh, for 12 Fijian dollars instead of 18. So that's um, it's pretty much half price um, Fijian dollars to US, so $6. And they also have beers um, for nine instead of 12, so about 4.50. Um, so happy hour is a good time to come. Hopefully they're not coming to burn the place. This is a, this is a <laughs> Friends, 
this morning and we're gonna go up into the rainforest and head out to see the waterfall. If you've seen photos it looks beautiful and we're heading on out uh, with the local tours. This is Moana Tours, this is Aisha and she's got us a good deal and off we go to the rainforest. Okay and we're coming into Kolo y Suva Forest Park and this is where we're gonna see the waterfall. You can see here it's open 8 to 4 uh, Monday to Friday um, almost every day if Saturday and Sundays can be arranged. Kolo Isuva and National Park to go and see the rainforest. Um, right here as you come in, this I think is really cool. This lets you know how long litter lasts, different types of litter. So it's basically saying don't mess up the beautiful natural surroundings that we have here in Fiji. And we can see where we are in relation to the Suva area. And then also got some information on the history of the upper pools and what we've got there. And where we're going. We're in the rainforest now. You can hear the bugs. It's just beautiful. Now we've been walking about five minutes along the path. And here you can either go left to the falls or right along the nature trail. It tells you some of the animals, the birds um, that you might find around here and about some of the plants as well. So if you've got more time, you can head there. We're going to the left, to the falls. So we're now at the upper pool, and this is what it looks like. Got a little fall, some nice water. So we've got the upper pool here. With a small fall, and then down here, the lower pool is a big set of fall. And it goes all the way down the river, all the way down the mountainside here. Beautiful. So this is the lower falls, and this is a big waterfall here. Gorgeous. And we're gonna go first thing. Are you filming? Okay, now we're in the waterfall. We're in the pool. Finally. Finally, let's go check out the water. Oh, it's so nice. It's so beautiful. Oh, 
It's way deeper here. Ah, so good. This is a little pool. And it's really pretty. Woo. Or is this the upper pool? No, that was the upper pool. But I mean, uh, the lower the pool is all the way down there. No, we're in the second upper pool. Yeah. We're in the middle pool. I guess so. So we made friends with some local teenagers and um, we will jump in and they're taking us down to the next pool, the lower pool. Um, see this one. And this is the third pool, so we've got the upper upper one, mid one, second mid one here and this is where the boys were um, sliding on the top there. Um, so this is the third one and we've got one more to go. Okay, we're going across the Indiana Jones style bridge. <laughs> There's the big Dakua trail. Oh wow. Climb your way back up. Ooh, if you're feeling brave. And we're at the lower pool now and this is where the rope swing is. This is how you catch the rope. Yay! Woo! <laughs> Teamwork. <laughs> All right, now Nick's gonna do it. <laughs> Hold your knees up! <laughs> You have to start from higher up because the rope will swing this way. No, start from higher up, Karen, because the rope swings. The rope will swing this way if you start higher up. Start higher up. Back from the waterfalls and the rainforest, we're now walking around Suva Town, and this is the fish market. We've got some sea cucumbers, lots of local fish, and this is basically as you come out of the port, turn right instead of going straight ahead, and you can walk through this and check out some of the local fresh fish they have for sale. Hello, Bula.